be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Be Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe, as well as give me a thumbs up on the video if you like today's content. But without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. So check this out. Today we're gonna be making trap samples in Logic Pro 10, and I'm gonna show you a simple, easy way to do it. So first off, you're gonna be wanting to start with a software instrument track, and you can use any of the stock sounds if you want, or you can even go with like a third party, you know, uh, VST. But let's just go ahead and jump right with this Alchemy. Once you pull up Alchemy, what you want to do is find some sounds that would instantly get your attention. I found that a lot of times like pluck sounds get your attention, ar um, arpeggiated sounds get your attention a lot of times, and some simps. So I'm going to say pluck over here and just search for some type of pluck sound and as you can see a lot of different sounds um, come up so let, let's, let's go ahead and audition some of these sounds and see what we can instantly get inspired off of Now, actually, something like this could uh, work for like a trap melody. Um, it has a lot of airiness to it, and let's just let's just go ahead and work with this one. So, actually, instead of playing it with my MIDI keyboard, um, I'm gonna actually go ahead and pull open the piano roll. You can push the letter P on your keyboard or hit the scissors at the top. And what we'll do is we'll start with C. And then I'm just going to draw in a pattern here. So the drawing patterns, all you have to do is hold down command. And then this like pencil is going to pop, um, pop up and you're just going to click where you want the note. So this particular sound, I'm gonna switch the sound up because this is like actually. All right, so we can come up with something simple like that and just like repeat it here. And then this is where the magic will happen. It's basically you can put some type of plugins on here to make this sound just a little bit more unique. So first plugin I'll do is just like put an equalizer on here, take out some of the lows if you want. You can also put other type of plugins on here, some pitch shifter plugins. So like this is a stock plugin you can put on here. Um, and what this could do is kind of give you a detuned effect on the piano, I mean on this sound.
Okay, so you kind of have like a slight detune effect on here. These are all using stock plugins. You can also come over here and if you wanted to mess around with some of the reverb on this, but I think that, you know, it'd be better not to mess with that. We do have this fat effects plugins that you could put on here though. So cool, so now you have a pretty dope sample here that we've really um, made with only playing a couple of notes and adding some effects. Now, if you wanna take this to the next level, what you could then do is take this and resample it, just drag it to this gray area, put it under original. We'll just mute this part out and go to classic mode. And we could do some things like put it um, at different like octaves, we can reverse it, things like that. So let's put play it a little bit different. Put this uh, musical typing up here, so you can see. So let's just try uh, playing it at that octave instead of the uh, regular one. Quantize that. Cool. So now that you have like a sample that's pretty much, you know, not pretty much, it's really original, I can add some more to it or leave it as, as is. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and add like a little, like a lower end sound to this to like really make this sample come to life. I'm just going to, you know, search for bass, we'll go dark, and we'll pick one of these bass sounds.
K. So basically, once I have um, all the elements to this sample, what I'll do now is just highlight everything and do um, like a right click and say bounce in place. And what it's gonna do is, if you select for source, click click mute. It's gonna mute these three files we created and create another audio file. Um, basically, it's gonna be a combined version of these. So now we have our new sample. cool thing about this is you can either take it a step further and go ahead and EQ this again and even add more samples so the, the process could be never ending for the most part um, it just depends on like you know your your taste throw this uh, murder melodies plug in on here see you know what it was what we can come up with that in place as well and that will create a brand new sound as well I can take this put it into the quick sampler we can reverse it Anyway, y'all, that's how you make a trap sample in Logic Pro 10. There's some tips you can use to make your own trap samples. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. Also, make sure you check out my Cloudy Loops trap um, kit that I just dropped on my site. We also have a whole lot of other goodies on the site, beatmakingbases.com. Make sure you go there, check it out, and we're out. Peace.